Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. Today's video is a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time and it's a video that everybody has questions about, not only you guys, but people across the board uh, when they're looking into this field. And that is, what is the scope of practice of the surgical tech? So as you can see here, looking up a CST scope of practice uh, just in Google doesn't really yield us any answers. Uh, it's I feel like it's really really hard to find like a definitive answer as to exactly what our scope of practice is. It kind of this I mean this from AST goes over accounts, ESU. That's it's all like. It's all things that we do in the OR, sure, but it doesn't really outline our scope of practice. There's nothing really on here that does that. So that's the reason why I wanted to kind of make this video, because uh, it just seems like there is no definitive answer as to what the scope of practice is. There's a lot of uh, mumbo jumbo out there. So hopefully this video will clarify that as best I can, I guess. So let's start off with the surgical tech's main focus and main responsibility. Uh, that is 100% ours is opening up, setting up, and maintaining the sterile field inside the operating room during a surgical procedure. Uh, that includes, you know, opening supplies, instrumentation, all on the back table, setting up the back table, mayo stands, ring stands, any other uh, types of instruments and supplies and machinery that are used throughout procedures were the ones maintaining that and setting it up. Now that being our main focus we have a lot of assistive cap capabilities as well that go along with everybody else that works inside the OR. You know when we bring a patient first into the OR we can help the nurse with transporting that patient back to the OR, uh, moving them over to the OR bed, positioning that patient to their proper position for the surgical procedure. Uh, we can even assist in shaving and prepping if it's necessary that they need that help. Uh, with the anesthesiologist, we can help out with you know intubation, we can help out with A lines, IVs, central lines, that type of stuff if they need any assistance and they don't have an extra hand. One of our biggest assistive roles in the OR is directly related to helping out the surgeons though. Uh, throughout procedures, we can be you know, handing them instruments that they, may, that they may need, handing them supplies they may need, uh, just assisting them in any of those capabilities, but even to go as far as just standing opposite of them during a procedure and helping retract tissue, follow suture, and things of that nature. Which brings me to my last point, and that is uh, things that a surgical tech cannot do or should not do, things that are outside of our scope of practice. There should be no cutting of tissue of any kind, no cauterization, no drilling, no screwing of any tissue of any kind. That is completely outside of our scope of practice. Now it's okay to cut suture with scissors and you know cut mesh and different other supplies, but when it comes to tissue, that's off we cannot be cutting tissue. No suturing of any kind. Uh, suturing of tissue, sticking a needle through tissue, again, we are manipulating tissue uh, to a degree that's outside of our scope of practice. Uh, most surgical tech programs do teach you how, like how to sew or the basics of sewing, and I don't, I don't really know why, because it's always been out of our scope of practice, so I don't really understand why they ever taught us that in school, and they probably still teach us, teach you guys that in school, but no suturing of any kind, uh, of closing up any wounds or tissue of any kind. And lastly, there's no clinical work involved in a surgical tech's position. Uh, nurses, they pre-op patients, check blood work, check urine, check, you know, all sorts of lab work and stuff like that. We don't do any of that. That's nurses. Uh, rounding on patients in the ICU and on the floors, that's all surgeons, PAs, nurse practitioners, stuff like that. That is not related to the surgical tech position at all. 
Uh, we live our lives in the OR and in surgery day in and day out. Now, all of those things I listed that are outside of the scope of practice, I have read in multiple parts of the country, whether you're in the army and you know working somewhere else, or you're in a rural place where they don't have a lot of medical workers or something, there are surgical techs out there that do close wounds and they do cauterize things and drill things and screw things. And you know, I'm not saying it's okay and I'm not saying it's not okay because it's always been uh, we work under the direction of the surgeon during the procedure but know that it has been set by the association of surgical texts that those specific things are outside of our scope of practice and lastly i just wanted to do a little comparison between the surgical tech the csfa uh, a nurse practitioner and a pa um, when you become a CSFA, it, I, I've said it before, it kind of opens up your scope of practice. So basically all those things that I've listed that I said you cannot do as a surgical tech, you can do as an FA. It opens up your scope of practice so you are able to manipulate tissue. You are able to make incisions and cauterize and cut and do everything basically that a, a surgeon is able to do. I'm able to use staplers, any kind of t stapling devices. I'm able to, you know, harvest veins and, you know, do anastomoses and it's, it opens up your scope of practice. So you're able to help at a much higher capacity inside the OR. Uh, there are some CSFAs out there that do round on patients, but that more so goes over to the nurse practitioners and PAs because the nurse practitioners and PAs can do everything that the FA can do, that the CSFA can do. Plus, on top of that, they have a vast, vast knowledge of clinical work. And they're able to round on patients. They're able to prescribe patients drugs and write orders for on patients. Those are all types of things that CSFAs cannot do. I hope this clarified things up for everybody out there. I really want this to be an open discussion, so if you guys can, please comment down below on what you feel is in uh, the scope of practice of a surgical tech or what you feel should be inside the scope of practice as a surgical tech or what you've heard. And I really want this to be a good you know, comment section where people watching this video can come by, they can look in the comments and really see what other people out there across the world are doing. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again very soon.